We've been through the various surgical suture materials that um, distinguishes a certain suture from another. Um, we now go into more details on absorbable surgical sutures. The distinction between absorbable and non-absorbable um, sutures is rather arbitrary. Um, generally, the 60 days mark was chosen uh, so that uh, sutures that lose most of its tensile strength within 60 days are uh, categorized as absorbable and those that take longer than two months are uh, categorized like non-absorbable sutures. Absorbable sutures can be synthetic or natural. The natural uh, absorbable sutures, which were developed earlier, um, like the plain gut or chromic gut sutures, are um, degraded through an inflammatory process and ultimate, ultimately cleared of the uh, tissues by tissues, enzymes, and the like. While the synthetic absorbable sutures that came later like Vicryl, PDS, and Monocryl are degraded and eliminated through hydrolysis rather than an inflammatory reaction. The rate at which the different uh, types of uh, absorbable sutures lose their sterile strength is the decisive factor in selecting a particular uh, absorbable suture for a particular surgical task because if uh, support to the uh, ligated tissues or the suture tissues is only required for a short period like a week or 10 days then you may select plain gut or vicryl rapid if uh, support is required for longer like two to three weeks then you could take things like vicryl or monocryl or chromic uh, treated gut, salt, uh, gut sutures but if extended support is required, like for six weeks or so, then PDS um, provides this uh, long-term support of the tissues and ultimately gets absorbed. The two process of loss of tensile strength and the absorption of the uh, whole of the sutures are, are different. Uh, tissues lose their tensile strength first by degradation and then uh, this, in the second stage they lose the mass of the tissues itself by absorption, whether by an inflammatory reaction or hydrolysis for the synthetic sutures. The natural forms of the absorbable sutures were introduced earlier. One of the uh, oldest types of absorbable sutures was the cat cat sutures. Uh, they are now produced from the collagen derived from the uh, gut of sheep and cows. And in its most purified form, they get uh, absorbed quickly and also loses their tensile strength within 7 to 10 days. So they can only be used in superficial layers of uh, fascia and like it superficial small blood vessels. Uh, if they are treated with chromic salts, they can stay longer and also retain most of their tensile strength for longer periods, up to um, two weeks or so. So they can be used for um, larger blood vessels and also for tissues like muscles or mucosal layers. It's the percentage of the collagen in the suture that determines its um, physical properties, its tensile strength and the rate of uh, absorption and the like. Uh, for both the plain and the chromic uh, treated uh, gut type of sutures. Um, but both of them produces um, a local reaction in the tissue uh, ranging from mild irritation to uh, extrusion and rejection of the whole sutures if the inflammatory process is intense. The plain surgical gut sutures are produced from the purified collagen and they lose their tensile strength quickly. Within seven to 10 days, they would lose most of their tensile strength, but they will linger around in the tissues for much longer, up to uh, almost 10 weeks. Uh, but they wouldn't be functioning by then. They would be, it would be just like a foreign body. And because they lose their tensile strength quickly, they are used mainly when uh, support is needed for subcutaneous fascia or fatty tissue or ligating small blood vessels. They are not for use in 
uh, cardiovascular or neurological procedures. Sometimes the uh, purified gut uh, can be heat treated and this would accelerate both the loss of that inside strength and also the rate of the absorption. So this would become uh, less uh, and less. But obviously there was a need to develop uh, other absorbable sutures that can retain most of their tensile strength for longer than seven to ten days offered by the uh, plain gut sutures. And someone discovered that uh, treating the purified collagen fibers of the plain gut with chromic salt would actually produce a new material that has prolonged um, retention of the uh, tensile strength and also get absorbed slower. The new material can be braided and waved into a multi-filament type of suture that have uh, better physical properties in, in handling properties and also uh, not more securely. Uh, the new material, the new type of suture, can uh, retain most of its tensile strength for 10 to 14 days, a little bit longer than the plain gut sutures, and there will be some residual tensile strength for up to three weeks. Um, they ultimately get absorbed within three months uh, through a process of uh, enzymatic degradation uh, caused by the inflammatory process. Of note here that the addition of the chromic salts had actually produced uh, material that is less irritant to the tissue than the uh, plain gut sutures. And then the synthetic absorbable sutures were developed. And they produced material that are less irritant, uh, more inert, have higher tensile strength, drags more easily inside the tissue, and can be stretched into monofilaments or braided into uh, multi-filaments. Um, they were formed from synthetic materials like polymers of different chemicals, lactic acid or glycolic acids. The vicryl, uh, which is coated, and the monocryl uh, can retain most of its tensile strengths for two to three weeks, um, but the PDS can retain their tensile strengths for uh, much longer periods between six and uh, nine weeks sometimes. Uh, and for that, they can actually um, do jobs like um, ligating or suturing larger blood vessels for the vicryl and the monocryl or used in deeper tissues. Uh, and the PDS in particular can be used when the uh, healing process is delayed because of age or diabetes or oncological procedures because they can retain their tensile strength for much longer. Out of all the synthetic absorbing sutures, the uh, Vicryl Rapid is the fastest absorbing uh, suture. It loses 50% of its tensile strength within five days, but retains some strength for uh, up to two weeks, much like a uh, chromic gut type of sutures. But they get uh, completely eliminated out of the tissues earlier at six weeks. They produce lower tissue reaction than the chromic uh, gut sutures as well, and are useful in the closure of skin, mucosa, and superficial tissues. When the vicryl sutures are coated, they produce sutures that um, have a, a superior handling uh, properties, uh, drags with minimal friction inside the tissue, and ties uh, into excellent knots. Uh, they also uh, retain most of their tensile strength in two weeks. About 80% of their tensile strength would be still there in two weeks, and 50% in three weeks, and even 20% after four weeks. Uh, they get absorbed completely within two to three months. They can be also braided into uh, uh, multi-filament type of tissues. This is why it has superior handling properties. And uh, because of uh, the, uh, the coating, it drags very well through the tissues. 
Monocryl is another uh, synthetic absorbable suture uh, that was developed to offer superior pliability. It handles very well and ties beautifully. It's also virtually inert and it is absorbs and loses its tensile strength in a very predictable form. It retains uh, its tensile strength for a little bit shorter than the vicryl and can be used in the subcuticular tissue closures and soft tissue approximation that does not require long-term support. It's available in two forms. The dyed monocryl stays a little bit longer in the tissues and retains the tensile strength for longer. It retains 70% uh, of its strength for a week, 40% for two weeks, and 12% uh, for three weeks. But it stays in the uh, tissues for all, between three and four months. The undyed uh, monocryl uh, sutures uh, loses its tensile strength quicker and also gets absorbed a little bit earlier. But if you are looking for a suture that will ultimately get absorbed, but it would pro uh, provide support to the tissues for one or two months rather than one or two weeks before uh, losing its tensile strength, then PDS uh, is your perfect choice because this um, material can be stretched into a monofilament type of suture, passes and glides very easily through the tissues. It has excellent handling properties as well, and it's not as fairly secure. It produces almost no tissue reaction or very mild tissue reaction, and it um, gets absor get, lose its uh, tensile strength very slowly, uh, so that it can offer good support to the tissues for at least six weeks. 70% of the tensile strength of the PDS is retained after two weeks, 50% in four weeks, and up to uh, a quarter of the strength is still there after six weeks from the surgery. Um, it gets absorbed between three months and six months uh, not much before 90 days, and uh, the process should be complete by six months. And it gets uh, degraded through a process of hydrolysis like most of the other synthetic absorbable sutures. And in case you get confused about the different um, rate of loss of the tensile strength and the uh, absorption time of the various uh, absorbable sutures, we've discussed seven of them uh, in this presentation, this table summarizes them all. Uh, the tensile strength of the plain gut will be lost in seven to 10 days. Uh, for crowbing gut, it takes a little bit longer, between 10 to 14 days. Vicryl rapid would lose all of its uh, tensile strength within two weeks, much like the chromic gut sutures. Uh, the coated vicryl would take a bit longer because it still retains 50% of its tensile strength in three weeks and 20% uh, in four weeks. Uh, monocryl would lose most of its tensile strength in three weeks, um, especially if it is not uh, dyed. Uh, the dyed form of it retains a little bit of the uh, tensile strength in three weeks. It is actually the PDS uh, that stands out from the rest and that it retains most of its uh, tensile strength after four weeks and some of its tensile strength up to six weeks. When we get to the rate of the absorption, it's vicryl rapid that is eliminated completely in six weeks. Uh, plain gut would take 10 weeks before it completely disappears from the wound. Uh, but it takes three months to clear the chromic or the vicryl uh, and three to four months to eliminate the monocryl and up uh, to six months for the PDS to, to be cleared completely. So we come to the end of this 
a presentation on the absorbable surgical sutures and we'll proceed now to the non-absorbable surgical sutures. Salam alaikum.